Audio animatronic figures soon began popping up all over Disneyland, but Walt continued to improve them, enlisting his animators, who knew more about movement than anyone. Animators like Exitensio. After 27 years on the on the main lot over there, I trotted over to over here to Wed, and uh, <laughs> it was kind of kind of a shock to me. I'd I'd go by drive by the studio at night, and tears would come to my eye, my eyes. <laughs> I felt, I felt, yeah, I missed the place. I'd run back every day for lunch to see the guys. But after a couple of weeks at uh, here, I got got my feet wet and got an assignment. And my first first job was Pirates of the Caribbean. I had never done scripts before. I had done a lot of storyboarding and things like story work at the studio. And the uh, auction scene was the first one I did. And I sent, sent it over to Walt. He said, yeah, that's, that's great, fine, just keep going. You know, I, what I did was, Cut out the old uh, Treasure Island film and, and read some uh, old sea stories to try to get the, the feeling of the jargon, the avast there, mateys, and stuff like that. The thing you have to had to do is to, is to get across the fact that here's some, some pretty raunchy old pirates chasing these ladies around, and uh, well, we could you know come out and blatantly say that they were that <laughs> they were doing bad things to these ladies that they're that uh, they were having fun, and they were just a bunch of fun-loving uh, pirates. Next was the script for The Haunted Mansion, and Exitensio wanted visitors to be as frightened as possible. I always wanted to believe in ghosts, you know, when I was doing the research for this. I said, I'd love to believe in ghosts, but... And I think I have found that, that most people do believe in ghosts, or like to believe in ghosts. And so we had two schools of thought at that point, whether we should make it scary or funny. And some of us kind of wanted it a little bit more scary, and, but uh, the, the funnies kind of won out, so. Like the stretching room, but the room starts stretching, and you, and you set the mood, you get, you, people are kind of, they come in and they're kind of, kind of scared, but then you know, the room starts stretching, and then you see, you see the, uh, <laughs> the gags in the, in the stretching uh, portraits. And then bingo, all of a sudden, the lights go out, and you see the, the uh, ghost host hanging from the rafters way up there, that scares them, you know. And So you just kind of just, you'd, you'd scare them and then you'd, you'd bring them back real quick. Exitensio's most challenging task was for Tokyo Disneyland. Picture an American Imagineer trying to translate his words into a language totally foreign to him. Well, for the, the Pirates of the Caribbean, for instance, we found out that what the ghost, instead of saying, dead men tell no tales, he says, there is no mouth on a dead person. <laughs> so that doesn't make sense. That's what we're trying to do. Well, there's no Japanese uh, equivalent of dead men tell no tales. So then they had to come up with something else. It says, well, if you're not careful, you will not pass this way again. <laughs>